Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage DJI's Director of Strategic Partnerships, Michael Perry. Good morning, everybody, and a special hello to the thousands of you joining us online, live, from around the world. We've got something really special to show you today. And we couldn't be more thrilled to show it to you here in Grand Central Terminal, where we have hundreds of thousands of people passing by on a daily basis. And for the first time, after the presentation, everybody who visits Grand Central Station will be able to come up and experience DJI's latest technology firsthand. Before we get started, though, I want to start by telling you a little bit about how DJI has evolved to enable a new type of storytelling. For the past decade, we have been singularly focused on taking complex technology and making it accessible for storytellers like all of you here in this room. That includes creators and filmmakers who want to show their adventures and their travels from an epic new perspective. That includes professional filmmakers like Vincent here uh, who want to add new depth to their storytelling. It includes enterprise customers that want to do work that's too dull, dirty, or dangerous using their drone. Through each iteration of our technology, through each new product, we've had one goal in mind, simplicity. Making flight and capturing stories simple so that you can focus on what's most important to you. Now, that simplicity is just a layer under which there's a lot of complex technology happening. Recently, we introduced a suite of computer vision technologies and deep learning algorithms that do a lot of things for our drones. They allow it to sense their environment, actively avoid obstacles, track moving objects automatically. And this is not just in our large professional drones for professional filmmakers and enterprise customers. This is in small, portable devices for consumers, like the Mavic. Now, all of these functions have been key breakthroughs in types of storytelling, and we've been truly inspired to see how you've used it in the real world, to travel around the globe to exotic countries and show new perspectives, to get in places where other people can't usually get, like inside an active volcano. <laughs> And all of those images have really sparked people's imaginations. We ask customers, what do you want to do with a drone? Everybody's so excited. But the average customer, consumer, doesn't quite know what they would do with a drone on a daily basis. We polled, and over 46% of Americans have a purchase intention for a new drone this year. But their biggest questions are, is it easy to fly? and when am I going to use it? We'll talk about ease of use in a second, but let's go to that idea of relevance. Not every story has to be powerful by being inside an active volcano or in an exotic location. Sometimes the most powerful stories are the answer to the question, how was your day? How are you doing? This is my dog, Esme. My wife is uh, traveling right now, and whenever she's traveling, she likes to see photos and videos to see how Esme and I are doing, making sure that we're staying out of trouble. Uh, I was walking Esme the other day and I wanted to show my wife what we were up to, and this is the video that I got. Okay, I forgot my Osmo Mobile with me, clearly. But even if I had it with me, the story would be incomplete. Half of the story is missing. And that's because I'm trying to walk the dog, hold a camera, take a good shot all simultaneously. But nevertheless, I use this camera because it's palm-sized. I'm able to use it by just touching one button. And it's easy enough for anybody to figure out. Now that is immediacy. That's the immediacy in storytelling that allows you to capture your daily life. So far, no drone provides that experience until today. We wanted to bring that type of personal storytelling to all of you, so we went back to the drawing board and created something brand new so that you can capture life's moments in a completely 
new way. Honey, look what I got. What is that? Ooh, what look at is this? this? Oh, wow. No, it yes! flies! This is amazing! Wow! Say hello to the DJI Spark. The Spark is DJI's smallest, smartest, and simplest drone to date. It's designed to go with you, but also to allow you to capture immediate moments and tell personal stories. And that personality is reflected in the colors. We have sky blue, meadow green, alpine white, sunrise yellow, and lava red. As you can see, Spark is palm-sized, and it weighs less than a can of soda. It's also designed to carry with you on a daily basis, like something that you put in your bag while you're out on the go, like a pair of headphones. Now, the size is not just the unique thing about the DJI Spark. It's how immediate it is, how it allows you to tell immediate personal stories. Let me show you how that works. I'll just make my way through to the flight cage. When we designed the Spark, the first thing that we had in mind was spontaneous use. How can I shorten the time between takeoff and taking a great picture? Now, we analyzed each step of what you need to capture a great photo, and we've made it simpler than ever. And that starts with takeoff. To take off, I hold the spark in my hand, and I press the power button twice. Spark starts looking for a pilot, and now that it recognizes me, it will automatically take off from my hand. Within seconds, I can get the spark in the air. Now, it's flying, but I need to control it. I want to angle it around to get just the right shot that I want. So to do that, we designed an interface using the simplest control interface that we could think of. And it's not your spark phone. Take a look. Just using my palm, I can move Spark left, I can move it right, I can use it up and down, I can push it away from me, and I can pull it towards me. It's that simple to control, and it truly feels like magic. Now, within this range, I've got about a three feet between me and the Spark, but that doesn't show the epic perspective that drones are known for. So in order to get that perspective, I'm gonna tell Spark to fly a little bit further away from me, and I'll do that by waving. And just like that, Spark flies about 10 feet away from me and keeps me centered in the, in the middle of the shot. It's fantastic. So I still wanna be able to control my shot. This is maybe not the best background. I wanna get those chandeliers captured behind me, so I'm just going to move. And Spark is actively tracking me as I move around so that I can choose the right scenery behind me. All right, this is the shot I want, and I'm going to take a picture just by doing this. Just like that, I've taken a picture. From takeoff to taking a picture, it's seconds. Now. I can still bring it back and land just by waving. This is using gesture control from start to finish to control the Spark's flight. And I'll land it 
just on my palm. So you can take amazing photos just with a few seconds and using your palm. All of those photos can be captured within 10 feet. And, and that you can capture amazing shots. Now, if you want to fly a little bit further away, capture bigger landscapes, do more automated control paths for your flight patterns, you can do that using your smartphone. With your smartphone, you can control the spark from a distance over 100 yards away from you. That's more than a football field. But let's say you have a friend that's uh, snowboarding or you want to look at a lighthouse that's far away. You can use the optional remote control to still fly over 1.2 miles away. So you have a lot of flexibility and versatility in the stories that you can tell using the Spark. And we've made that storytelling easier than ever using a new feature that we call Quick Shots. Quick Shots makes the Spark your personal camera operator. We work together with Hollywood filmmakers to understand what are the most cinematic drone movements. And we've automated those movements so that you can focus on being in the moment and still telling a great story. To use Quick Shots, you simply tap on your subject and the Spark does the rest. It flies an automated path for about a minute, and then it edits that minute down into a 10-second clip that you can share immediately. It looks great and tells a big story of where you are. Now, we've, offering, we've built four different types of quick shots. The first is rocket. Using rocket, the camera points down and the spark flies up, revealing a unique perspective from above. You can do droney, where the drone starts close to the subject, flies up and away, keeping the subject locked in the center of frame and showing the big perspective of the world around the subject. Circle keeps the subject locked in the center of the frame as the spark automatically flies circles around it, creating a really epic shot. And this is my favorite. It's called Helix. It starts close to the subject, flies up and away, and around in larger and larger circles like a spiral. It looks like an action helicopter shot. <laughs> it's fantastic. Now, all of these shots were created within seconds. All I had to do was tap on the screen twice. Complex flight maneuvers are now automated using the Spark. You'll notice that this picture was uh, me, Esme, and a friend of mine hiking this past weekend. During that hike, we captured about five minutes of footage. And um, I wanted to edit that down into a 30-second clip that I could easily send to my wife while she's traveling. Now, typically, to get that shot, that 30-second clip, I'd have to go home, unload the SD card, put it onto my computer, load editing software, edit, add music, grade, export, and then I could send it to her. No, that's, that's too complicated. What I'd rather use is DJI Go 4. Using updated editing templates and filters on DJI Go 4, Creating fantastic, beautifully edited videos takes seconds. Let me show you how it's done. I go into the editor, and I go to Create. I just tap, tap Create. Now, using Create Movie, I can trim my clips, add my own music, I can uh, add titles or specific filters. In this case, I wanted to do something a lot more automatic and fast. So I pulled up all the different clips from our trip, selected my favorite ones, and then I hit Create. And automatically, this video appears.
within seconds, DJI Go 4 has chosen the best shots from my clips, edited them together, added transitions, added music and titles, and created a 30 second clip that I can share immediately. It's that powerful. So, with Spark, we made it easy and immediate to capture epic stories. You can quickly launch from your palm and get up in the air within seconds. You can intuitively and easily control the Spark just by using your palm. QuickShot makes complex shots as simple as tapping on your screen. And to create that beautifully edited video that you can share with anybody it takes a few seconds using the updated DJI Go 4 app. Fly, create, share. Life's moments will not be the same without the DJI Spark. Now those moments also deserve to look beautiful. And that's why we put a powerful camera on board the DJI Spark. We have a 1 over 2.3 inch sensor, which is slightly larger than your average cell phone, giving you more light sensitivity and precision with your colors. Spark shoots 12 megapixel stills and records full HD video at 30 frames per second. On board Spark, we also have a mechanical two axis gimbal stabilizer that works together with Ultra Smooth, DJI's electronic stabilization technology that reduces shake and rolling shutter so that you can capture smooth cinematic memories. Now, these easy shots are made easier by incorporating DJI's iconic intelligent flight modes. That includes active track that, keeps, that follows the subject, keeping it locked in the center of a frame. We've upgraded tap fly that makes flying in a set direction as easy as tapping on the screen, telling the spark which direction you want to go. We've also added two new shooting modes, one called Pano, which uh, takes an automatic panorama and stitches them together, and a new function called Shallow Focus. Shallow Focus uses DJI's 3D vision system to identify the subject in the shot and blur out the background so you get a beautiful shot that looks like a professional has taken it. It's a, one of my favorite features. DJI is not just known for creating first-in-class camera technology, though. We also create best-in-class flight performance. That's why the Spark is so nimble, agile, and fun to fly. And that includes a max flight speed of up to 31 miles per hour using, smart, uh, using sports mode on the optional remote controller. We also have the longest flight time for a drone this size at 16 minutes. And here's the cool thing. For the first time, not only do you have interchangeable batteries so you can swap them out in the field, but you can also power the Spark and charge it on the go using a micro USB port in the back. So it makes it easier to charge than ever before. And finally, Spark provides an immersive flight experience working together with the DJI goggles. Using the goggles, you can feel like you're inside the cockpit of the drone as it flies. And I got to tell you, it's incredibly fun to fly with this. Now, we made the Spark really fun and high performance, but we also wanted to make it reliable. And that's uh, being done through DJI's flight autonomy system that combines advanced sensors with high computing performance so that you can fly with confidence. DJI's flight autonomy system includes dual GPS and GLONASS sensors so that you get precise hovering outdoors. A forward-facing 3D vision system so that the Spark can sense obstacles from up to 16 feet away. We also have visual positioning so that it can sense its flight environment within 98 feet. So in environments like this without GPS, the Spark still flies stably. And all of that is being processed by 24 
high-powered computing cores operating simultaneously. Now, this is all a fancy way of saying that Spark flies stably where you want it to go, outdoors or indoors. It hovers consistently. It also detects and avoids obstacles, and it returns back home to the point that it launched from. It's easy peace of mind while you're up in the air. So with Spark, we're uh, excited to introduce a range of accessories that make it even more flexible and fun out in the field. That includes propeller guards, a charging hub that charges multiple batteries simultaneously, a charging box that charges Spark and two batteries while you're on the go. And, of course, the remote controller for longer range flight and sports mode. And don't forget the DJI goggles for an immersive flight experience. We'll also be offering DJI Care Fresh Refresh for the Spark. DJI Care Refresh is a comprehensive warranty program that provides additional protection for your drone. And for a small additional charge, you can replace your Spark up to two times using DJI Care Refresh, giving you even more peace of mind while you fly. You'll also have more peace of mind knowing more about your flight environment using DJI's Geo system. Geo provides a real-time awareness for pilots so that they can understand where flight might be restricted due to safety concerns or regulations. Not only will pilots get accurate and up-to-date information about airport locations, but also areas where there are temporary flight restrictions like wildfires or stadiums during game day. And finally, we're incorporating the SDK together with DJI Spark. The SDK, or our software development kit, opens up a lot more creative and commercial possibilities that people like you can develop on top of our system. To give you some examples of how people are using that, Epson has created an application for DJI products that works together with their augmented reality glasses, creating a really cool flight experience. And DroneBlocks has created a simplified coding process so that students can learn how to code on top of drones. It's a really cool program. So that's Spark. It's easy, intuitive, fun, immediate. You can f get up in the air within seconds. You can easily control the Spark to capture your stories and tell personal, share personal moments in a way like never before. I'm excited to say that Spark is going to be available for pre-order today. And it will start shipping in the middle of June. With Spark, we not only wanted to make it accessible in terms of how you use it, but accessible in terms of the way that you buy it. So that's why I'm excited to say that Spark will be available starting at $499. It's an incredible amount of technology for this price. You'll, we'll also be providing a Fly More combo which includes an extra set of propellers, propeller guards, an extra battery, the charging hub, the remote controller, and the carrying case. All of that for $699. This is the best way to get the most out of your Spark. Now, speaking of pilots and aerial photographers who get the most out of their storytelling, I'd like to invite up Julian Salamita. Julian, as many of you might know, is a daily YouTuber. He captures amazing stories about his daily life. And for the last week, he's been using Spark to tell some pretty amazing stories. We'll show a quick video of what Julian has captured, and then he'll come up and tell you more about it. I am 
am just now getting up and having my morning coffee. Except today, it's not just coffee, it's coffee with a drone. And amazingly, I think the coffee might be bigger than this drone. This right here is the DJI Spark. It is DJI's newest and tiniest drone to date. One of the biggest things as a vlogger is trying to make your vlog stand out and capture your day differently than everyone else's. One of the things that's great about this drone is that I can capture something on the fly without even really planning it or even needing my phone. This is probably one of the coolest things about this drone. Spark has something called quick shots, which gives you a number of options on getting really quick, really cinematic shots that you really have to do nothing to get. So I'm meeting up with my mom right now. She came out to see me and uh, we're gonna have some lunch. And after we have lunch, I wanna see if she can fly this drone because I think she can. But first we sandwich. Yes. Snack. Yeah. That's delicious. All right, so mom, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna have you control this drone with your bare hand. Okay. Like you don't even need the controller. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious, this is a real thing. You're gonna hold your hand out like that so it recognizes your hand. Now move your hand side to side. Oh my God. All right, so I am uh, now on a walk with Peachy here, and we're going to our spot, and it's such a nice day. And I really want to take a picture with her, and one of the problems I face when I want to take a picture with my dog is that they always come out cheesy, because it's like, oh, here, look, I'm holding my dog. Here's a picture that you've seen a hundred times. I recently taught Peachy here a trick. All right, so my plan is I'm gonna launch the spark. I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna put her on my back and I wanna take a picture and I wanna vlog it. So I'm taking this picture right now with clearly my hands full, but the spark is doing the work right over there. This drone is, uh, is just so much fun. All right, it is time now for some jujitsu, which is probably my favorite part of the day, or as we like to call it, it's time to do jitsu. I'm meeting up with my buddy Steve to do some training today here at the academy, and I brought the spark. I guess we can see what we can do with it. I never ever thought I was gonna ever see jujitsu from a drone, but uh, today proved me wrong. And uh, the amount of tech that the spark has somehow fit inside of it is crazy. And I think the best part is I've only scratched the surface of what this thing can do. So thank you DJI for making it so easy to fly a drone and allowing me to fly wherever my day might take me. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Julian, and I am a vlogger, uh, meaning I capture my daily life and put it on the internet for people to watch. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I flew my first drone. I flew the Phantom 4, and what I got from that drone and the experience of flying it was, it was probably what a lot of people got when they first flew their DJI drone. It's a whole entirely new way to tell your story, and in my case, that's the story of my life and my day. And I became so hooked so fast, and all I wanted to do was fly my drone. Whether I was filming a vlog, or filming something bigger than a vlog, or even just going to the park, I took it with me everywhere. And here we are now, and it's, it's become like one of my favorite passions that I can even name. The problem is, I can't really share that passion so well with a lot of people. It's a little bit complicated to explain to someone, like a friend who maybe doesn't do exactly what I do for a living, uh, or my family who definitely doesn't understand what I do for a living. 
My mom, her favorite place in the world is Big Bear, California. She goes up nearly every weekend and she just loves it. And the first time I showed her drone footage that I shot in Big Bear, she was like spe speechless. She couldn't even enunciate what she was feeling. She sees a whole entirely new angle that she never anticipated ever seeing of uh, her favorite place in the world. The thing is, that was the extent to which we could enjoy drones together. She saw the final product with music and the color and it looked great, but she didn't really get to share exploring with me what went into getting that shot. Taking off, accounting for light, your camera movements, your plans in the sky and just kind of flying by the seat of your pants while you're in the air. She didn't get that with me. And the Spark completely changed that. I mean, as you guys saw, it took me under a minute to show her how to launch it and control it. I've been making YouTube videos for nearly four years now, and uh, my mom still can't find them unless I send her a link. So her flying the Spark is kind of amazing to see, for me at least, controlling it with her hand, communicating with the machine while it's flying, and completely understanding the whole thing, which is the biggest part. And I haven't yet shown the drone to my brother or my sister, but I feel like I might be out of drone if I do. Everyone here knows DJI is not new to innovating. Every few months they release a new drone that just blows all of our minds. But what they are new to is the Spark and what it is doing for bringing something formerly unattainable and too complex to the everyday person, to the everyday family, the everyday couple, and, and showing them what it's like to be in the sky so easily. And I think today, more than anything, flying a drone just became a whole lot less intimidating for a lot of people. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you, Julian, and I got to start doing jujitsu now. It looks awesome. We're going to wrap things up here by showing a quick video putting the spark through its paces in real life. So while that's airing, we invite you to come up here, get your hands on with the technology. We'll be flying in the cage and doing some additional demos outside. But I want to thank you all so much for coming and invite anybody who's out there who's interested to come by between 2 p.m and 8 p.m. to Grand Central Station to experience the spark in person. Thank you all so much, and thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day.